Hi everyone, welcome to my video clip series on the 2015 level 2 probability exam. Um, so this is last year's exam, I'll just be going over the exam and explaining why we're working things out in a particular way. Um, I think I'm going to be splitting this into the exam into six videos. So two two videos per section for the probability exam. Okay, and this is obviously the first video. Okay. Question one A the waiting time for a patient attending a medical center before seeing a doctor is approximately normally distributed. This is an important statement. With a mean of 34 minutes. So in our calculator we're going to have the mean symbol. It's equal to 34. And a standard deviation of 8. So omega is equal to 8. Find the probability that a patient will wait between 34 and 40 minutes. First step, draw a diagram. In my case, I'm going to draw a line. Right in the middle is going to be my mean of 34. And I'm going up to 40 minutes. And I want to know the probability of in here. So obviously my lower is 34, my upper is 40, my mean is 34, my standard deviation is 8. If you hit your menu key and then look for statistics or stat, S-T-A-T, -T, on this calculator it's number 2, so I'm going to push number 2, then you want to look for dist, D-I-S-T, it's short for distribution. So we're pushing F5 on this calculator. Then we want norm, N-O-R-M. I'm pushing F1 on this calculator. And we want N-C-D, it looks like this, N, lowercase c, lowercase d, on our screen. And that's F2 on this calculator. Our lower is 34. Um, at the top it's got normal CD. Below that, if we push our down, down arrow, it says data. Make sure that it says variable. Okay. If it says list, it's okay. Just push F2 because if you look at the bottom left hand side of your screen, it says list just above the F1 key and VAR, which is short for variable just above the F2 key. So we're pushing F2 to make sure it says variable. Then we push the down arrow and we type in 34 for lower. We push our execute, the blue EXE button at the bottom of our pad. Um, type in 40 for upper. For our um, Standard, standard deviation is omega, that's what that symbol means. We want to push an 8, and mean is 34. Execute. And push execute again. And you should get your probability. So we've got P for probability when we write it down, is equal to 0. Two seven three three seven two six four is what it says on my screen, but I will just round it to three decimal places. Okay. Next question. After how many minutes of ninety percent of patients have begun being seen by a doctor? Mm, this one's a tricky one. So we'll have a straight line. We know that most people will be seen, or half of the people will be seen by 34 minutes. Um, and we want a total of 90%. So all of this up until 
this part here, actually let's call this x shall we, up to x is going to be 90%. For this we're going to need to use this equation here, z is equal to x minus the mean over the standard distribution, uh, standard deviation I mean. Uh, we've got our mean, we've got our standard deviation. We need to work out x and we need to work out z. So what we can do to get z is we know that we've got on a normally, on a standard normal distribution, our mean is 0, our distribution is sorry our standard deviation is 1 if I write that in here um, but we want to get up to 90 so on our calculator if we just hit exit and exit again and we should have graph calc test INTR and then dist along the bottom we want to push 5 for distribution Sorry about that. Um, then we want to push F1 for normal. Then we want to have inverse normal, which is INV and then N. So it looks like this on our screen. I, N, V, and then uppercase N. And on this calculator, it's F3. Check that, it, that under next to data it says variable tail make sure it says left area we want to be 0 0.9 because we've got the 90 percent okay and decimals 90 percent is 0.9 our standard deviation should be 1 our mean should be 0 hit execute um, and execute until we get our z value which is 1.2815 if I round that mm, I'll leave that 15 there we go and so that's four decimal places and then, so we've got our z value now. Now we can just insert that in and get 1.2815 is equal to x minus 34, which is our mean, over our standard distribution of 8. Okay. Now we just rearrange to find our x value which would be 1.2815 times 8 plus 34, which should give us 44.25. If you're using your calculator, you will need to hit your menu key and then get to run maths, which would be number 1 on this calculator. Okay, right, have we answered the question yet? Um, no, we haven't. Okay, so that's the... Oh no, that is the answer. Okay, so it's after 44.25 minutes. that 90% of patients will be seen by a doctor. Okay. Last question of this section. It's decided that waiting times must be changed so that at least 95% of patients will be seen by a doctor within 40 minutes. Okay, so they still want that um, 40 minutes over here. Because of the administration required the mean time cannot change so the average is still going to the mean is still going to be 34 
but it is known that for each doctor added to the duty teams, the standard deviation will reduce by 0.4 minutes. How many doctors must be added to meet the new requirements? Okay. So here, we know what our x value would be. We know what our mean is, but we need to change the standard deviation. So our standard deviation, we're not sure of. Our z value, so we, here we can use that this equation again. The z is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Um, we've got, on a normal curve, we've got normal, a standard normal distribution, sorry. We've got 0 as our mean. Our standard deviation is going to equal 0, uh, sorry, 1. But we need to find the z value for when we have 95%. Okay, so now we're going back to norm, uh, the menu. Stat. Distribution, which is F5 in this case. Norm, which is F1. And we want inverse normal F3. Data is variable, tail is left, area, because we want 95%, we're changing this to 0.95. Standard deviation is 1, the mean is 0, and execute, and we should get 1.64485363 on my screen. Um, I'm going to round that. So my z is equal to, I certainly can't remember all of that off the top of my head, 6, 4, 5. That's three decimal places. Okay, inserting that in. So we've got 1.645 is equal to, our x is 40, minus our mean of 34 over the standard deviation so our standard deviation is going to equal 6 divided by 1.645, which should give us something like 10 point, no, which should give us something like 3 point six four seven. Okay, so if we, let's see, standard deviation will reduce by 0.4 minutes per doctor. Our standard deviation was originally 8. Our new standard deviation that we want is 3.647 minutes. So if we go the old one minus the new one, 3.647. Okay, because we need to know how much time we need to reduce it by. And the way to do that is find the difference between the old standard deviation and the new one that we want. Okay, and then what we want to do is divide it by 0.4. Because for each doctor, it will be 0.4 minutes. And that should give us about 10.88 doctors. Sorry, writing it in a bad place. Okay, but we can't have part of a doctor, right? A doctor is a person, we can't cut them in half. We can't duplicate them. We can just add more. Um... So I would say, I would, personally, I would say 11 doctors. Okay, so what's the question? How many doctors must be added to meet the new requirement? Oops, sorry about that. 11 doctors 
will need to be added. And you're done. So we have found our... Oh, sorry about this. So we have found our Z value. We found our new standard distribution. And then we found out how many doctors we need. There's all three parts to satisfy our excellence in this excellence question. Okay, thanks for watching.